hi thank you for checking out this video in this video we are going to learn how to use tabs in Wix studio how you can use it for faqs and how you can use it for features section sometimes you may need this feature to showcase the features right the tabinations you see on these modern websites right so let's dive into the video okay so now let's add a tab to your canvas so i have my section here select a section here it's already added and uh, i go to this plus icon and then click on these layout tools you'll find tabs there are one two three four four tabs already designed and ready to use for you by wix team right but in our case we will customize it uh, let's say if we choose uh, this right this uh, this tab or these or let's let's say we use this I will use that this tab and I will just drag and drop on my uh, section and uh, here you have this it works like a widget it works like a widget and you have to customize it so there are many options uh, available so that you can customize it like if you click on these manage tabs you'll find the FAQ items here right the shipping the returns if you want to change any content of it the headers of it let's say for this FAQ or shipping right I want to change it to uh, shipping uh, or let's say logistics if I do that it will change the heading of my FAQ if you want to change the content click here and you can change the content for the particular logistics tab right but I don't uh, want to do that right now I'll click back to my first one and then here in the settings panel you have this cross fed or float however you want the tab settings cross fed for the tabs transitions you can add the transition from bottom you can add these uh, particular animations here right but I don't want them here if you click on this uh, layout icon you'll find right the you want to stretch your tabs or you you just want them to be default right it edges as per the size so if I click on the stretch you won't see any difference now but if I just make it full width now you will find the difference between them right if I click on the default now just look at them if I stretch them it's a full width one right and then the text lines are the center you can do it left center and then if I just go here now look at this now you can do it center again right I'll, I'll, I'll use the stretch one for now and then the text alignments and then you can add space between the tabs if I add 16 between these tabs you see these headers of these tabs I'm adding a space but I don't want any space there I'm spending the tabs container the tabs and the container right I'll make it 24 just look at this the container that is holding the actual content of your FAQ uh, uh, in this case uh, between the header headings of the tabs and the container right that's the space and now horizontal padding if you want to add any horizontal padding you can do that here vertical padding for the particular uh, these tabs so now you have the behavior thing here right uh, overflow tabs scroll or you want to wrap them if you have any tabs uh, which are like let's say if I add more uh, headings here for these tabs details and any two three more then it will just uh, wrap to the next line right if you want a scroll you can add a scroll also right and you can set the direction of that tab also from right to left or left to right right this is the use of that particular thing and that's how you can set up the layout but now let's talk about how you can change the colors how you can add your own typography here if you have not set up your typography already in Wix project so select your tab and on the right hand side you see the it says tab container tab container is this container right particular container and if you click on tab container you see the tabs means these particular tabs items and the scroll button uh, uh, you remember I just showed you that uh, you can either you have a scroll or the wrap mode for your layouts right if you have multiple uh, tab items in the header and then you have a container for that this container and this one is the main container let's let's look at how we can change them so now I have the color 
here tab container and I will change the tabs to this particular color I think this is fine and for my tabs I want whichever is active let's say regular for the regular background color is white I don't want the white I want uh, let's say blue let's use this blue for now and the text inside that tab uh, color should be should be white here white and uh, when someone hovers on this particular tab which color or what you want to do with the tabs right uh, right now it's it there, there's a border I don't want any border but let's use the border for now here I want to set the background color to this and and my text color to white you can do something like this right? when someone hovers but when the tab is selected which color do you want I want the color uh, you can use have your color it's up to you but I prefer to have a color like this color like uh, wait let me just find a color I think let's use this right this is perfect I guess and the text color can be white it's up to your designs uh, the designs that you are using it's up to that and here you have these particular borders that you want to use I don't want to use I want to use the white one here and what I'll do I'll go back again here this part and I will just the remove this gap that we had between those items right so now if I just preview if I just preview my tab, uh, tabs in in the preview mode just look at them you have this color now look at them whatever we have set up right it's just I'm just playing with them I'm not following any design rules here but I'm just playing with them and and this is how you can change it and if you want to change your content I already showed you click here on this manage tabs if you want to duplicate this tab if you are following any certain rules for the content you can duplicate it otherwise you can add a new tab click on the new tab and you will have a new tab here you can add a title to that tab let's call it new tab new web let me call it new tab and uh, okay now it's new tab and the content for the new tab there is no content because we are adding a completely new tab here I'll, what I'll do I'll just uh, click on the paragraph and that's my content for this new tab I know it's not looking good but let's use it for now uh, wait okay let's also center align the text yep that's it so now you have your tabs here now let's click on the new tab this is how the new tab would look like but let's say uh, again click on your main tabs and click here on the settings uh, sorry manage tabs and here you look at this default tab right you want to make these uh, logistics or your new tab or let's say return right set as your default tab now that will be so every time anyone visits your website or when you preview a website this is your default tab now right so this is how you can set the default tab here hey i hope you have enjoyed this video if you did please like and share the video if you want to get more videos like this please subscribe the channel so that every time i post a new video you get a new video into your inbox so if you need more help on how to use wix studio uh, to your projects or if you want to learn more please comment in the comment box or reach out to me for more information bye